Hello, um, my name is Jules, and I am a junior from Westside High School. All right. And this is my poem, The Dead Name Eulogy. Here we mourn the passing of me, October 1st, 2020, 9.44 a.m. She was well loved by no one who truly understood her, left quite the uprising legacy, just entering into high school when the universe struck and took her away from us. I apologize to the entourage, had my attention. Close friends and loved ones were aware of a name she preferred to be called and something about preferring different pronouns. But the sheet says, yes, yes, excuse me. Hello, who put the deceased in charge of writing this? You've known me for a little while and I knew her very well. She lived life in moments, the moments in the spotlight and the moments hiding from it. Let me ask the entourage, have you ever been told to love yourself or have you seen that phrase on bumper stickers, motivational posters, or even heard it in song lyrics. Love yourself, love yourself, love yourself. How can you love when love for your own body doesn't have a physical representation? The pure distaste of your own flesh is all you can think about. Here he is, a baby boy standing there silently. Isn't he beautiful? He's got a deep voice and a confident mind until his words start to unwind and he will finally realize he's not the person he wishes he was. Climbing above all his mental obstacles in public opticals, his worries scurry up his arms like bugs. Give me a hug, baby boy. I see you, screaming in a crowded room, no voice to be heard, making an unseen scene. Are you afraid of being looked at by those blinded by a binded body? You should have wore a bigger t-shirt today. Dysphoria, you felt it, slicing through your skin as if the dysphoria was trying to dissect the baby boy right out of me, him, and you could feel the thorns piercing through every vein, straining themselves around every limb like a sadistic corset. Despite all all this, trying to compress and crush his emotions the same as he does his chest. They say boys aren't supposed to cry. It's different when you're made to cry. I was with her when she passed. Her dying words included one hearty salute and the words, happy birthday. Death by my signature execution wrote herself away. What a way to go. Till death do us part, nothing will ever stop me from being me. This is the moment where I simultaneously leap out of the casket, down the podium, and tear away my tux, because the real me is back from the dead. Not reborn, but revamped. Hello, world. I've been given a second chance to live my life better, to live it my way, to live it me. I bet if she was still here today, she would have one thing to say. You look happier. Thank you.